Yeah, yeah. What up, what up, what up? What up? It's your boy Skinny P back here with another Toke for Thought or yes, Toke sir. Awaits episode. Whatever the fuck this is, it's a nugget of truth. I'm here with my boy. Yeah, 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 Nick. My girl. My dude. The other token. My other dude. Tim, the tool tot tit Taylor. Tim, Tim, Timmy, Tommy, Tim, Dab, Dad, Tim, 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 not quite as dim a dome as the dim a debt, but I'm, uh, I'm the hippie. What's up? <laughs> but on today's... Today's is... episode, what's the big dilla, dude? Alright, so some of these ass crackers right here think you gotta make a dilla a certain way. And we're talking not just dillas, we're talking quesadillas. Now, gentlemen... G- okay, let me first start out here. I say... I made a quesadilla. I put, I pre-make my quesadillas. I get a tortilla out, I fold it in half, make sure I get that crease left. I put cheese, my meat, and a little bit of cheese. I fold back over, but I don't put too much cheese. Cause I don't like, I don't like it oozing out. If it oozes out too much, there's an issue there. So I put just enough cheese, get a little covered, a little, fold it back over, and then I fry it in the pan. That's how I do it. But apparently, I had issues because I put all my meat in one place. I didn't okay, scatter okay. it. Pause. It's basically a fried taco. Pause. Before we can argue what is what, what is a quesadilla? Well, let me look up a quesadilla. Definition of quesadilla. Technically, he's not wrong. It's just a placement of the things. <laughs> okay, 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 hold we up, hold We first up. have to acknowledge. Wait, 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 wait. We have to acknowledge that Robert... I or Tim the Todd the Todd the Todd the Tim and Todd Todd the Tudor. Tim 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 no. has backpedaled on his argument before the show. I found at a first definition. First, you were flat out saying that is not a case of dilla. I said by technicality. You? I said that before. Wait, wait, by wait. Technicality. Wait, you were right. I have Meat something. Meat and cheese in a thing. Whatever. I have the definition of a case of dilla. Okay, go ahead. The definition of case of dilla is a tortilla filled with cheese and heated. Okay. Doesn't even have to have meat. meat. So, it doesn't even have so to have meat. So my argument is, what makes it different than any other cheese stuff tortilla wrap thing? Because is it, it positioning on your meat? Is it the cheese? My opinion is, if there's sauce on it, it's an enchilada. And it also depends on the way you fry it, because like that d- turns into three okay. separate if you dishes fry it, If you fry it, it's an empanada. And you said it was a taco. Okay, here's the definition of a taco. A Mexican dish consisting of a fried tortilla, soft taco. typically folded, soft taco, yes, filled with various <laughs> mixtures such as seasoned beef, meat, oh, seasoned meat, and beans, veggies. lettuce, and tomatoes. And veggies. There was no lettuce and the tomatoes. The veggies make the difference on a taco. It's veggies can be on quesadillas. That makes it a taco. Tacos and quesadillas. Yeah, are which you accused his of being a taco. So at that point, when I made my shepherd's pie argument, shepherd's pie I've seen made a thousand different ways. So basically, what we're saying: tacos are quesadillas, and quesadillas are tacos. I'm just saying it all tastes the same if it's from tacos. Okay, and here's the definition yeah. of an enchilada: a roll has sauce, a roll tortilla with, with a filling typically of a of meat and served with a chili sauce. Sauce. He said sauce. So it's, a, it's basically okay. just a rolled taco with sauce. And Why is all Mexican food the same? <laughs> it's literally the same thing. Just what you add to it makes just it different. Per, just made or... Uh, it's basically the difference is how you roll your tortilla. His argument for, uh, like later on was Jimmy's meat placement. Oh yeah, the placement of the meat. He was like, oh, you got to you you spread skin. it around. You have it all in one area. <laughs> How do you make like, your tortilla, sir? Let's, let's hear Robert's okay. side of this conversation. Okay, because what I've always known as a standard quesadilla is tortilla, Please. cheese, whatever you want on it, cheese, tortilla, flat. Well, could that be a grilled cheese? Grilled Mexican grilled cheese, Grilled cheese yes. is bread. Well, but isn't tortilla what, bread? Tortilla, tortilla is made of corn and wheat. No, no, no that's flour that's tortilla. Flour. Flour. Flour's made of yeast, or bread's made of yeast. And flour, but but it's flour. There's no fucking yeast in a tortilla. But it's bread, though. Still bread, but it ain't bread. 
Still is. No, it's not. It is a. Fl- it is a. Flower. I would argue. I would agree with you if you were saying dough. It is a dough a roll. roll. It is a. It's got. It's. I will. Carbs. I will. I will agree with you that what, what tortillas you, okay. are a so here's exceptional a, substitute for bread. So here's a. Qu- I've a, had some rolled up tortilla hot dogs. I've had peanut butter and jelly tortillas. I was about to ask you, how do you feel? What do you call a pizza that's made with a giant ass tortilla? That's not a pizza. That's a Mexican pizza. <coughs> So if I fold a Mexican pizza, is that a taco? You don't go to Taco Bell to get a Mexican pizza, do you? They don't have Mexican pizza. Yes, they do. They used to. That's where you're wrong. They used to. They still do. Really? Yeah. I've never seen them. I never heard of them. Because nobody fucking orders them. Well, maybe they don't fucking advertise it. Because it's shit. How do we I mean, know it's shit about. if I've never had it? Because I've had it, and it's shit. I mean, well, how, I don't know it's Do you shit. remember the Mexican pizzas at school, though? It, oh, my oh, God. Oh, dude. The fucking, pin, fucking lit. the fucking pinwheels, dude. The fucking Those stop good as, signs, bro. They were good as fuck. So, okay. This is very derailed, but Mexican food. Can we all agree it's pretty much a... Okay, I would not say the same damn thing. But incorporates some sort of tortilla. Okay. Let me intervene here and say... We are definitely not talking about traditional Mexican cuisine. These no. Are, these, these are, are like these Tex-Mex. Are, you're talking Western uh, This is Americanized yeah, Mexican food. This is definitely Tex-Mex food because I guarantee you nobody in Mexico is actually fucking walking around going, I want a fucking enchilada. <laughs> I want me a chalupa. It's just, Why it's do you like, sound Indian? It's, it's, <laughs> because. Uh, I don't know it's why, like me, ca- it's like, me trying to do a I Mexican mean, accent comes out Indian too. It's like me walking in the door going, Man, I really want to go to a baseball game. Because I really don't ever want to go to a baseball game. I don't. It's I like the bad. American pastime, which it's, I in my opinion, football. it's not. I'd argue football. I'd say football as well, but I. Vasker! I, I think. Baseball's it, been around twice as well, long. Well, Jimmy's right. If you want to get hit with some facts, NASCAR is the most watched sport. Really? It re- Boom! Yeah. It just hit you with some fucking knowledge. Most Damn. watched live sport. Yeah. Uh, really? Yep. Live sport. Yep. Most watched live sport. Like, oh, are you talking about if... Not on <laughs> TV, in person. People in stadiums. Yes. That's pretty cool. Really? Yeah, each, tra- each track holds, like, almost 100... Th- so, like, over 100,000 people. What's... Daytona like, Speedway the holds... Al- Daytona Speedway holds almost 200,000. Most... A football stadium in America holds is, like, 100... 105,000. Huh. Yeah. Raymond James Stadium only holds like a hundred, and, or not not a hundred. Jesus Christ, like sixty five thousand people. Strike. I thought it'd be a lot more than that. Yeah, right. I imagine the the football fields Mexican would be a lot more than that too. I mean, I'm just an idiot and don't really watch sports, but so I watch the Super Bowl and I know how the games are played. So I, I feel like I'm covered. So let's there you go. let's bring it back in. Have we all agreed on how to make a fucking dilla? No. Yeah. Make it however you want. However, uh, enjoy. I, well, can we make a great a quesadilla if I use a piece of bread and use cheese and meat? Or is no, that just a sandwich? That's no, that's a, a that, fucking that's sandwich, That's a sandwich, bro. man. That's, that's a, a sandwich. sandwich. I don't care if you want to call it a Sorry, melt. tortilla. I don't know if you want the to call it a sandwich. The tortilla makes it. The tortilla makes it. You wouldn't make a bread taco, would you? That's Roll a it up, enchilada. We Flat make a bread taco. Quesadilla. A bread up, taco? Quesadilla. No, it's a, just a hamburger. No, 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 no. Lettuce? Cheese, veggies. <laughs> it's a hamburger. Bread. I would be more of a sloppy Joe because a hamburger is more formed. Yeah. Well, yeah, but you still got the same kind of meat in it. So it wouldn't be a sloppy Joe. Okay, but Depends by that, if there's sauce on it. But there is sauce because it's taco meat. Well, then yeah, it's a sloppy Joe. I don't it's a know Mexican his name. sloppy Joe. Is there is there an ir- what is irresistible creature that What's has your an name? insatiable love for the bread? Tug- Undertaker. Undertaker. Okay, so. um... If by that argument, you're basically... Oh, if you just want to say it has all the same ingredients, we can... Uh, that, that opens the spectrum for saying all food is just like this other food. Oh, of course it is. Just all be, food is the same. It just has an origin. That's what makes it different. It just has a different Spaghetti origin. Spaghetti is not form. an American thing, but we sure as hell like to put it on a taco. Fuck yeah. I mean, no, thank That's you. an American idea right there. Thank you, iCarly. Dude, I mean, spaghetti tacos really are the shit. It, they are the shit, dude. Like, especially if you have, like, the SpaghettiO spaghetti. Mm. Mm. James, guess what we have? What? Guess what the I need you to do right now, this very moment in time. Oh, my God. What do you want me to do it? It's greenies. What do you want me to do it? Uh, 
Uh, John Manfield. Firehouse subs. Ah, today's podcast is brought to you in part by Firehouse subs because when you want that hook and ladder, you gotta get yourself that sandwich. Go get yourself some bland ass food at your local firehouse. Support your firefighters. <laughs> get get yourself an order online at Uber Eats, DoorDash, Grubhub, fucking tater salads up. over here. Really get yourself all up. that shit. Support the local firefighters. And now back to your regularly scheduled programming. Suck my dick. No thanks. So if I roll up a pizza, is that a burrito? No, that's just a that's a fucking rolled like, up. That's an Americanized bastardization. No, of don't. Food. Does it, who is it? Chicago that rolls up through pizza and eats it? Because that's a thing. No, there's, no, no. That's Chicago's the deep dish. Yeah, and New York. New, New, New York, York is the folding. It, folding. So somebody rolls it up. I don't. So how do you eat your pizza? Do you eat it flat? Do you eat it folded, or do you with a knife and fork? Flat. Why would you eat it with a knife and fork? There's, there's people that do that. There's people that do that. that the life. only time I've ever found that acceptable is if you, is at Sam's Club, because they have the giant ass, greasy ass pieces of pizza. Oh my god. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. That's the only time I can find it acceptable. It's a giant ass, greasy ass pizza. You don't want to get that all over yourself. I understand. Get a fork and knife. But other than that, Typically, what? fold it is the way I go. Like, even out of instinct, I just p- happen to pick it up and I just fold it and start eating it. Okay, yeah. okay, so... So... What cheese changes the origin of a food? Uh, oh, I fold up. What do you mean, the Wait, origin? what? Alright, so... Like, does, like, does using different cheese from different areas or different countries change your origin? See, cheese you wouldn't like, put Mexican blend on... Cheese alone does not make a uh, the, <coughs> does not name the country of a dish though. Well, hold on. Different cheeses can give Mediterranean dish. Yeah. You wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that. You, you wouldn't. Would, you wouldn't put. You wouldn't good. put Cajun jerk on on General Tso's chicken. I mean. So where does that? Where does where does the origin quote unquote of food, where we're arguing all food is related. It's not, okay, at that point, I would argue it's not exactly about origin so much as just by nature what foods go together. So are we saying all food matters? Fuck. Fuck you. (laughs) This is bullshit. I've been setting that shit up for the last 15 minutes. uh, (laughs) Can I throw this at you, like, please? Just be prepared to get your ass kicked. Shit. (laughs) I'm pretty sure I could outrun you. Yeah, that's what the cat sprays for. At least that's harmless. Oh, fair Mostly. enough. Mostly. Just avoid the electronics. So, yeah. quit bumping the table. <laughs> Sorry. Just want to bump and go in the backyard. Right? Take a stoner, what? Yeah. So, I gotta ask, what is the weirdest Americanization food you've seen? Like, we've taken a food and Americanized it. Oh, the blue and onion. Pizza rolls. Pizza rolls? Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear the blue banana. I don't want to hear the pizza. Yeah, I want to. No, hear the blue I, I just blurted something out. I wasn't actually no. serious about. But it. I don't yeah. think the blue and onion is an American thing. No, I think that's. Just Only good. it's I not even an Australian. Wait, what do you say by pizza rolls? What do you mean by that? Okay, pizza. It's just course. like Americans go. I want pizza, but I don't want to eat a whole pizza. Or they want. I want snack food. I want. I want. I want a snack on pizza. That's, that's an American fucking thing. I want a snack on pizza. You tell a white crab. So you know, you, what you I'm gonna do right. is I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna cut these little pieces of pizza up, <clears throat> bread them, possibly deep fry them, and then freeze them for later. I saw something. What about the crunch wrap? I saw something about this Part recently, of the sauce guys. taco. I did. What about the Popeyes fucking <coughs> meat or chicken taco? Chicken? Wait, what? Chicken sandwich? No, no, no. Or, so, maybe it was KFC, but somebody had a chicken. That was Taco Bell. Was it Taco Bell? Oh, wait, you talking about the chicken, like, shell? Yeah. Oh, no, that was fucking, like, KFC or some shit. I thought that was... Wait, I, th- I could have sworn that was Taco Bell. They did that, too. I don't know. No, like, so. the shell of it was, like, actual fried chicken. I know what you're talking about, yeah. I thought... I Who remember the volcano Taco, Taco Bell? Bell doesn't have deep fryers? Do they? Yes, they yes. do. Remember the cinnamon twist? Ah. Come on, dude. They get those, like, pre-made. Well, yeah, you're right. in. I mean, he's, yeah, I'm not convinced they make those in house. I know who I can ask. That's too sophisticated of a of a crisp for them to make in house. Think about it, dude. When I worked at Long John's, man, you had to make the like the crumbs. Text Kyle. Ask if they deep fry the cinnamon twist thing. That's exactly what I was talking about. We had we had a, we have a buddy of ours that worked at a Taco Bell. 
Oh, we're just curious. I swear they deep fry it. Like, no joke. Oh, no, they're made deep fried, but I don't think they do it in-house. That's what I think they do it in-house. I think, I think it's like Dunkin' Donuts, where their donuts are pre-made and bring, brought in. They used to be made in-house, but no longer. They get shipped in. Makes it a lot easier. Mm. Yeah, but they still have to glaze them and everything. Yeah. Yeah, miss. Makes it really frustrating. Hey. Chugs. Good. Meh. Falling half asleep over Brother's here. over here sleeping. He's schlepping. Dude. Well, what about secret french fries on a hamburger? That's another Fuck thing. Yeah. No, why, that, are they, why are they called french fries when they are a German cut? Wait, and they're they not even origi- French. They originated in Germany. They were German cut. Why are they called French fries? Because uh, why are they called Freedom fries? Why are they called chips? Fuck, he's right. I mean, because they're crispy. Why do we call chips crisps? Why, why do we call cookies? Why? Why biscuits. is why called cookies biscuits? I don't know. Well, we you, you got it backwards, bro. Yeah, he's got it backwards. So oh, that, like, and that's that goes back to the origin of food. What came first, triscuits or biscuits, fish or chips? Biscuits. Or, he not, not fish and chips, fries and chips. Roberto. I actually have oh, a fun story chips, behind triscuit. <laughs> I love triscuits. Dude, biscuits came first, but triscuit is actually named okay. because electric oven. Their thing is <laughs> that when they were first came out, they were sold and re- baked with an electric oven. <laughs> Sorry. So that was their gimmick. It was the first... Cracker that was baked in an electric oven and, about, and marketed. Are you talking about hard tack? Hard attack. Hard tack. Huh? Hard tack. What's the reference to that? Go back to your question. No, no. What do you know? What hard tack is? No. It's like literally flour and water and baked. It's a hard piece of bread that lasts forever. At least in the Civil War. But anyways. Oh. Uh, just another thing I had to... Uh, Sometimes I don't. Thanks Someone for that. Thanks class. for that fucking... Yeah. My question was... That, my question... That, that, that fact was brought to you in part by... Go fuck yourself. Use your fucking My question step. was about cornbread, actually. Do you like your cornbread with or without corn? No without. Corn. Sweet. Without. I don't give a shit. You can add the corn or not. Just make it sweet. I'm with That's, him on that. I'm more of savory cornbread. I, I like, like both, savory but I'm more of a sweet you corn guy. Stem. Okay, can we agree on the fact that no matter what, cornbread needs butter? Absolutely. Okay. Tons of butter. Yeah, if it's sweet. Cornbread muffins. Okay, if it's How sweet, sweet are we talking? If it's sweet, it's nice. Like the school sweet? Yeah, oh, cornbread is pretty good. That's if, what it's pretty if it's good. sweet, it's nice, but butter just makes it better. I like a savory one because I like chili better. with it. Chili and mashed potatoes, man. And butter on that cornbread? Yeah, but I like the sweet that comes with the savory of the chili. I'm more of, I don't like sweet. Savory That's on big savory thing. just bothers me. I, I, I'm not a fan of sweets. That's why I like all savory. See, I like corn on the cob because it helps me in my pussy eating game. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no, it uh, doesn't, James. Eating a fucking orange Cubes. will do that. Smack him. James, eating a fucking you orange You fucking do it, you die. Hit him with reality. Hit him with reality. Actual reality. <laughs> Reality stuff. Reality check. Reality check. <laughs> reality check. And then it's like, I, I like reality better what are we than in what fucking I'm in. Toontown? <laughs> God, have you, uh, who hasn't seen that commercial forever? Fuck. I remember playing that. I used to, they, that, uh, fans actually w- were able to like, um. Bring it back. Uh, bring it back, yeah. And it's called totally free to play. I had an account when I was in high school, but at probably long ago. <laughs> it was like, hmm. I remember seeing commercials for that shit. Mm, me too. I was so we're, we're almost at 20 minutes and we've been talking about food. Any other food discussions do we have here? We could go on forever. It's us, but, you know. Yeah. Well, okay. What? How, all right, all right. How do you eat your bagels? I don't you eat wait, bagels. Wait, 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 wait. Do you what put do you cream cheese on both sides and then eat them separately? Or do you put cream cheese on... Cream cheese. <laughs> cream cheese. Do you put cream cheese on both sides and then eat them separate? Or, do you... or put them on both and then make a... Sandwich out of it. I put them on both and eat them separate, but sometimes if I'm feeling, you know, a little bit giddy in the morning, then I'll put them together. Uh, I like the doughiness of. Do you toast your bagels or not? Enigma? Oh, yes. Uh, Sometimes I'll just microwave it. Enigma, we have an answer. What? 
I well, don't... wait, the answer to the, the grilled churro thing. Are the curly fries at Taco Bell, the sweet ones, the are they deep fried twists. in-house? I don't remember the exact process, but I do know that the product is put in the fryer to let it expand. Haha, <laughs> so ah. it is fried in-house. Interesting. Interesting. So, Roger, Roger, what's our vector, Vector? <laughs> so, sure bagel. you know what you're doing. So, define, well, do, you, do you toast? Don't call me Shirley. Do you toast or do you not toast? Okay, sometimes I'll toast it, sometimes I'll microwave it. It just depends on how I'm Call me microwave? Yeah. Call me microwave. Sure. Makes, like makes it softer without the crunch. I don't like bagels. Call Do you put me. peanut butter on your bagels? I'll put cream cheese on it. Pe- Ooh, pe- I put, I put, put peanut butter, cream I'll cheese. Put, so good. I'll put jam, cream cheese, peach jam. Doesn't matter, man. Oh, dude, have you put marmalade on it? No. Okay, define the best bagel no. of all times. The best, like, the number one bagel to get. Oh, an everything ba- bagel. I don't have it. You don't have it? Any type of bagel? Uh, Just an everything bagel. I don't bagel. like onion bagels. I prefer a sweet bagel, like raisin bra- bagels, the cinnamon bagels. Ooh, a sea salt yeah. bagel. Maybe it's, I might like, like a, a cinnamon bagel. Like sandwiches bagels. and shit. And I like a, uh, like a... The oh, like not not, not necessarily now. the fact that there's extra salt in the bagel, but like on the outside that there's sea salt on it. It's, it's like a so pencil good. bagel. It's really good. We should we no, should go to that one bagel, bagel place with that's next to the one Irish place. Yeah. Bagel bros? No, not that one. But like, yeah, yeah, Einstein bagels or some shit. Yeah, yeah. No, not that one. But that's one. I'm thinking. It's a it's a different one. I'll I'll, I'll pull it up here eventually. But it, we gotta go there. It's been been, been forever. Hey, heard you guys. We're at twenty two minutes. We've been talking. About okay, that. so final thoughts on this one. Is there a, is there a correct way to actually make a dilla? Whatever or, way makes uh, you happy. Gordon Ramsay would say yes. With the way I cook. There's no wrong way to cook food. If it Chef. tastes good, you made it right. Chef Gusteau? There you go. Chef Gusteau? <laughs> well, what about you, Warden? What do you think? Pubes. Final thought. I mean, quesadillas. I fucking love quesadillas. Just as long as it's fried and has some cheese in it. It's a quesadilla. Typical fucking American, as long as it's fried and has cheese, I fucking love it. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, Enigma, there what you go. got there? <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking perfect. Hey, that, that's a great thought of thought. Uh, there, what I you say, got? I say, fuck your quesadilla. Oh. Uh, fuck your tacos. Oh. <laughs> what do my tacos have to do with this? Fuck oh. your taco quesadilla. But most of all... Fuck you! Ah <laughs> uh, no, I will. I will get into a position. <laughs> we we love you too, Nick. We love you guys. Well, we, 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 we Tim 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 Hot, you put it on a pan, cheese, meat, whatever you want. What are the tortilla? Tortillas. I forgot about no, it. No, you can't just put whatever meat you want on it. Yeah, you, you can. can. Steak. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Whoa, if wait, I put lamb on it, is it you? That's what I was about to say. Oh, yeah, shit. It's not a pita. No, no, we're talking about, wait, it's no. not a pita. Wait, but a pita is basically a thing. Pita, pita, pita is all about the bread. That's, the make, the one, pita, that's what makes the difference. Pita isn't oh a bread. God. It lies in between tortilla and bread. God damn it. <laughs> A big spike right On the me. next episode of <laughs> What the fuck is it? In short, Rip your enjoy your <laughs> hot fried <laughs> tor- soft tortillas with your oh, cheese geez. and whatever else you make. Enjoy your food. Anyways, guys. Yeah, In short, I've been the hippie and we have been the Tokerweights. We've been talking about this one, about food, about for the past 25 minutes. We've loved you guys and we will see you all next time. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Tokerweights. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at instagram.com forward slash Tokerweights. Follow us on Twitter. Don't dare fucking throw why that you, shit at why me. Why do you sound like you're having a seizure? You're He's, like shouting. Just too. slow down. Look, you're so fucking loud. <laughs> you're in such a rush to go a, to bed. You, a, you're just a fast, goodbye, everybody. Woo-hoo! A fast intro is, outro is the best way to go. Off the air. <laughs> I didn't hit end yet, guys.
A fast. <laughs> All right, so so the Peter. <laughs> James, wait, wait. James, you can go to bed. I'm <laughs> going to bed. Yeah, okay, anyways, guys, we'll see you guys later. Wait, we'll talk oh, about the Euro. Oh, I'm a shot. We'll take it. Ah. Uh, this is you. Yeah.